This weekly Blender competition is brought to you by Grant Abbott. Grant Abbott provides Blender tutorials for beginners and experienced users such as sculpting, modeling, texturing, animating and a lot more. So make sure you check out his channel and Discord if you haven't already. You can find the link in the description. Welcome at the weekly Blender competition number 17, which I'm going to criticize the art entries and choose some winners. And the subject for this week was to create a motion. We have 10 entries and I really appreciate that you guys have joined. Now keep in mind, if you have some feedback for me, then leave a comment, because it's very important to improve my work for you. Now before we start off, I just want to say that the next weekly deadline won't be in one week, but it will be in three weeks for reasons, and I will explain you at the end of this competition video why that is so. Our first entry is of... Glabi, Glabi, welcome to the competitions. I hope I pronounced your name the right way. And you don't say anything in Discord, which is fine. Now, when I look at your art, I notice straight away how colorful this is. I really like that to see something like this for once. And I also noticed that you have placed the word madness onto a character that actually is showing madness already. So I think. What you shouldn't do is put these words onto his hat, just leave it out and um, ask people around who haven't seen this art just yet what kind of emotion they think it will fit into this artwork and I think most people will say madness or craziness or uh, confusion or something like that. What I also do like about this art are actually those tentacles uh, which is just totally a random thing. Uh, those are all over the place. Um, I, I, I really like this art and um, I think you should also join a lot more because I'm wondering what will you make as other art uh, subjects. Uh, for now, I like it a lot and welcome. Our next entry is of, uh, that's a, a mouthful name here. It's Wicca Wicca Woo. Uh, also, welcome to the competition. I haven't seen your name before. You say in Discord, Technicolor Depression. And it's actually a kind of fun thing because, you know, most time of depression, people think of darkness and, and coldness. And this is showing a depression with a colorful something. Um, I really like what you've done here. I think it's, it's a very um, a nice talent to have to create all kinds of scratches around your artwork and not be bothered by it. I, I definitely cannot do this. If I just have a scratch, uh, I, I wouldn't agree with this. I would just restart all over again. Um, it's, it's a very good uh, thing to have that you can actually accept this, finish off your painting and show it to the people. I do really like what I'm seeing here. I really see the, the emotion going on. It's, you know, crying emotion. Um, yeah, depression, sure. It, it, it is something to get used of with the colors, because like I said, most of the time it will be uh, dark and cold, and that kind of stuff for depression. Um, I really like this term, technicolor depression. Um, I like this, definitely. Is there something else I could add to this? Um, not really, it's the same like uh, our first entry of Glabby. Uh, I really like it, and welcome to the competition. Entry number three is of Crave. Um, Crave says in this court, emoji trying to smile for the 100th time in the front of a talked phone. Um, yeah, to be real honest, and I think more people will have this, that it reminds me of the Joker. That's all I can say, because, you know, like, putting his smile up in the front of the mirror, that's straight away where it reminds me of. Uh, I do like that you actually use an emotion for it, to show an emotion. Uh, it's, uh, we all know what we see here, he's trying to be happy while crying. Um, you know, overall, I, I like this artwork, like a television or what is it, docking station, whatever it is. Uh, showing some light uh, from the side into the face is a very nice touch. Uh, I like what I see here on the background. You fill it in, very nice. A lot of texturing going on. Nice model. It is right in the middle here. Um, emotion, definitely. 
and I I think I didn't see your name before. And by the way, excuse me that the A doesn't have like a uh, thingy underneath because Blender Basic form does not support that. Um, but also for you, welcome to the competition, and I really like what you've done down here. Entry number four is of Erwin Sunny Ray. Erwin Sunny Ray, we have seen more artwork of him, and uh, this time. He went for a default cube, and um, he says in Discord the default cube in the world of delete. You know what I always find sad is that people are always placing the default cube into a a heavy depressive world where they end up after being deleted. I think it is time for a revolution. I think the Vault Cube should be sent to some paradise out there and be happy people are not stretching out his body and cutting it and, and texturing it and just leave it as it is. Um, but still, this is all about the emotion and uh, I can understand that. Not all of the Vault Cubes are happy to go to another place. They just want to be accepted. Um, they probably miss out the family right now. The uh, cones and whatever. Um, I like what you've done here. Even though it's sad. Uh, the cube is crying. Uh, emotion is definitely being showed down here. Um, the background is kind of okay. I like the spotlight on it to just show. Um, yeah, it, it's... You, you see that a lot in movies when something or either wrong is going on or sadness going on or even happiness going on. A spotlight straight onto the character. It's, it's a nice touch. Um, yeah. Again, I like this a lot, what I'm seeing down here. And uh, I hope also for the future to see more of your work. Erwin Sunny Ray. I like your name, by the way. Uh, entry number five. Uh, it's a very special one. Um, Kane Boss 8. It's a very nice house. Now, or either you posted into the wrong uh, entry, or either you thought the exterior architecture was still going on. Um, you know, it's okay. I'm just putting you in here. I'm just going to judge your artwork. Uh, it's a very cozy little house. Um, you also say in um, Discord, modern house design. It's very cozy. I like that. Um, the only thing that I noticed that the... Uh, oh man, what is it called in English? Pictograms, um, shortcuts, uh, pictures. Uh, it's gigantic. Uh, maybe this person has bad eyes and it needs to be zoomed out. Um, I once knew a person who had bad eyes and like things that he needed to see or read were like zoomed out on a PC. So, um, anyhow, I like your house design. I like this, this darkish color against the wood color. It's a very nice touch. I like that you have used stone here. There's a tiny little balcony going on. You got a nice piece of carpet with some modern stuff in here. Um, what I like about this is grass onto the roof. Um, I think people should do that a lot more, having, um, you know, a lot of space on roofs always. Uh, they, they need to place like moss or grass or even trees or a rainforest, whatever. Um, I think it's a very good touch. Uh, also very good to, you know, against global warming, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, I like this as a exterior house uh, for that competition. Um, if we talk about emotion, um, you give a confused emotion dropping this in right now. Uh, but still, Kane, boss, um, welcome to the competition. I also hope to see more of your work. Entry number six is of Getsy. And Getsy says, somebody got bad news. Sorry to post again. Had to up samples for clearer text. And it's okay. That is okay. Um... So what we see here is a lot of emotion going on and a very nice uh, drink down here. Uh, I would love to taste a bit. Um, what about the uh, emotion stuff? I'm trying, going to try to read this. Um, I could read everything before. It says, Spencer, I'm sorry, I just can't do this anymore. There is something wrong with us and I'm tired of trying to fix it by myself. You already know where I'm going and who is going to be there. 
please don't show up in a drunken st stupor again, like last time. It's embarrassing for everyone, but especially you. I don't love you anymore, but that would still make me sad somehow. In fact, I think it would be the best if you didn't come around at all, at least not for a while. Amanda. P.S. Darren and Troy will be over to pick up the rest of my stuff. Please don't take this out on them. Yeah, I, I, I like how I can still read as well. It's laying flat. It's good that you put up the samples because at your first art, I couldn't really read the, uh, the top one. And I was really wondering what it says. Uh, in overall, your artwork is very nice. It doesn't only show emotion onto the uh, paperwork, it shows emotion onto the object of a ring. Laying down there, it shows emotion with the bottle of drink, you know, frustrating times. Uh, Quadratine does a lot of bad stuff. Um, you get frustrated to each other. Um, but what I also like, and I don't know if this was um, done on purpose or you know, that's something that I think is also showing emotion, is, is his hands down here. His hands are like, ah, I want to ah, grab her by the throat and choke her to death. I'm, I'm just kidding about that. But it really shows like a grab, grab hand, like, ah. Uh, this shows also emotion. There's a lot of emotion going on. And yeah, emotion is not only something you can read off someone's face. Um, it, letter objects, um, stance, uh, body language. Uh, I like, by the way, uh, uh, the, the color is very nice, like a nice brownish um, stuff going on, uh, which fits in with a lot of stuff. It fits in with the drink, it fits in with the ring, it fits in with the wall. Uh, there is some white going on, some black and some uh, green. It's a very nice balance out colorful um, picture. You got some nice textures going on. Uh, this is definitely a very good uh, entry, um, showing a lot of stuff in once. Um, Yetsi, welcome to the competition. Very nice job. Um, yeah, the uh, seventh entry oh, is of uh, MXM. And MXM is showing a character, showing an emotion. I do like what I say here. See here, uh, you say in Discord, here is mine, first sculpting experience, lot to learn yet. Well, I think it's very brave to come in with sculpting. A lot of people, including me, uh, especially when you're just beginning with sculpting, uh, it, it's very awkward to show your stuff. It really feels like awkward. You can, you know you can do better, only it takes a lot of time, a lot of practicing, keep going and going and going, and then at some point, uh, your stuff will look really good. In this case, you just dropped it in. I also like that you have tried to make clothing with it, uh, some hair. Uh, I do have to say a couple of things. Uh, emotion, yeah, you see emotion, crying, it's, it's sad. Um, now, the feeling I'm getting is that this character is leaning against the wall, right? That, that That's what I think a nice uh, logic here. Um, I don't know why you have kept this black. I would just say continue the wall, and I would just say these bricks need to be a little bit bigger. Just sit yourself against the wall, make a selfie. Uh, for once, a selfie uh, can be done useful. So sit against the wall, make a selfie, try to get these bricks behind you onto your selfie too, so you can kind of compare, like these bricks would be a lot bigger, and then this character could fit against the wall. It would be a very nice touch. Um, Sculpting is very nice. I only don't know exactly what's going on with the ear and the shadow with the face. Uh, uh, the hair though, uh, yeah, yeah, it could be better. At least, you know, you tried. I mean, uh, what you could have done. Uh, let me just say, if, if, if this was my artwork and I would like try to add hair, I would just don't agree with this. I would just put the hoodie a lot more over the face. Um, just to, to hide the hair, but that's more of a personal thing. The only thing that I would say is um, the next thing you could do is try to learn to uh, uh, what is that 
painting. Yeah, painting. Texture painting. There we go. Texture painting. Add a little bit more darkness to the lips because they're very bright. Um, I really like how you've done the nose here. It's a very nice thing. Um, this here, I would say, don't don't do that again. Um, because this person doesn't really have eyeliner on something uh, that would you know tear out while crying. Uh, just what I would recommend is just try to add like a little bit of a model of tears and uh, just increase the um, mirror and uh, glossiness and a little bit alpa so it just kind of looks like real tears instead of just adding this one uh, down here um, so it's just the wall the tear um, what I think should be done better anything else is just purely practicing um, but I in overall I, I, I like the sculpt model here I think you uh, have done a good job with that um, but overall emotion good job and welcome to the competition I would like to see more of your work into the future Entry number eight is of Platyros, and this is also one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> Platyros says in Discord the feeling when this happened. It's so sad, man. It's I feel so sorry for this alien monster. Uh, why this is one of my favorites? It's not just especially the emotion. Um, I think it's very clever how you've done the emotion because uh, emotion. On human faces are a lot easier than doing this on alien face because uh you know you get eyebrows you got uh those uh whatever thing in the middle here i don't know what it's called when you look serious or whatever it just rumbles up uh english anyhow why this is also one of my favorite is because i freaking love the texturing onto this model or just you know the, the the freaking details once again just like the last competition the detailing onto your stuff is very on point uh even the light is on point the coloring is on point i freaking love it um i'm playing like this game called arc survival evolved and what i like about arc survival evolved is the some of the color balance onto the dinosaurs uh is also like Typical this kind of color with a dark kind of color and then even more darker to um, Show them them little spots. That is where it reminds me a lot of uh, the detailing reminds me of some of the models like I got like a little uh, Carnosaurus uh, I gave that to my girlfriend and it's exactly showing like these little ribbles and dots and spots this is uh, I, I I freaking love it what I'm seeing down here. Now of course there are also um, things that I would say should have been done different. Uh, one of them is for sure, and another of them is maybe. Uh, the one for sure is I don't like this tight corner down here but that's more of a personal thing i don't like it it's way too tight uh while a lot of stuff on this character is like smooth it's it's flowing it's uh um yeah that so what i would say is um uh, make this like a round thinky down here like just round it up uh maybe add another one of these dots down here or you, you could figure that out um, but in you know, overall, I really like this model, the texturing, the coloring, so that it's not too much of a problem. It's just that I don't like that. Another thing I would say is uh, the reflection into the eyes. Uh, th there are ways to actually get rid of the reflection from the lamps. I understand these lamps, you know, give this beautiful color to your artwork. Uh, I would just say it's a nice thing for you to learn how to get rid of I am just seeing it right now, you've also used an HDRI, right? This, it looks like HDRI from an apartment room and these are like the back doors. Um, yeah, just try to play around with reflection, try to get rid of it. I, I believe I have on my channel a tutorial about that, how you can remove reflection of HDRI, so that is one thing. Um, but overall, man, I, I freaking love it. I, I really do. I was also wondering how this picture will actually look with a very orangey background with blue eyes. Uh, blue like this eyes. 
Uh, I wonder how that will look. I was just wondering that. Um, I can talk more or less about it. I can talk for hours about it. I just really freaking love it. Uh, definitely also one of my favorites. Uh, so good job, Platy Rush. I also hope to see more of you work in the future. And emotion is on point. Entry number uh, 9 is of Tyrus.x. It was actually funny when I tried to save up this artwork onto my uh, computer with this name. I was like, what, what happened with the picture? I see like an, an app or something. And then I realized it's because this .x makes it into an app. Uh, any house? Silly. Um, Tyrus.x says... This image depicts the feeling of an endless falling to the bottom with no end in sight. I have something to say about that. This could be a dream or a metaphor of life. I try to convey the fear and hopelessness of knowing that at the end nothing really matters and we are all going we are all going to cease to exist. I had to google that word cease. Depending how to how you look at the character, you see him hopeless falling or happily diving to his demis demis. Oh man, English rendered with cycles. Okay, I'm just going to put it in screen. Um, it's this word. It's you use a lot of words that this word. I don't know. Uh, this word. I don't know. Don't do that, people. Um, anyhow, it's about your artwork. Uh, so what I, I said before, I have something to say about the endless falling. This is something I noticed later on. I see like something spiky going on with the bones. Is it like endless falling, but not really getting closer to the ground? Or it's, it's a little bit mysterious what is going on into this picture with what you described. But I understand the idea of it. Uh, falling endless, yeah, I think it's a terrible thing. At some point you get hungry or you need to pee or you're getting tired, you need to sleep. And, um, oh man, I don't want to know. Um, emotion. If you didn't add a text, it would maybe be hard to describe because you cannot really read the emotion. Uh, it's not a problem to not read the emotion because you can also show emotion by objects, text stuff like that in your case you need to add a little bit of story to it um yeah it's it, this one is really difficult for me um yeah hopeless and fear nothing really matters uh okay let me just say about what i think down here i really love what i'm seeing here as in the color um yeah what I would have, what I would say is, you should have made the red a little bit more orangey, and the, the light blue should be a little bit darker blue. Then it would really fit in with orange and blue. That's one of uh, the colors that really would match together uh, instead of red and lighter blue. But that's a personal thing. Um, yeah, it's to be real honest, it's a little bit difficult for me. Uh, with emotion, uh, I, yeah, I'm getting stuck with this. So I'm just going to drop this, uh, leave it there. I really like that you've added this story, trying to explain what's going on here. Um, cease to exist. It goes deep. Very good. Fits perfectly with your artwork. Uh, anyhow, I like that you have joined with the weekly competition for one because you are uh, joining the daily 30 minute challenges. You have done a, a lot of amazing artwork, by the way. So it's not only making confusing things, you also have done a very nice job uh, with that. Uh, so, welcome. I would like to see more of your artwork into the future. And um, maybe I come back to this. We will see. Entry number 10. All right, is of uh, Mitchell. I mean, I know Michael is with an, an E around it, right? Um, I think it's Mitchell, Mitchell Yonak. Um, 
Now to the competition, uh, people, this is by the way not the end result, this is his uh, sketch. The reason why I'm showing the sketch is because he has a video, and I would just like to show the sketch like, um, you know, people always say it's the best thing to do is making a sketch, and sketch doesn't have to look nice, it can be just a lot of rumble going on and the ideas come up. Uh, with a sketch, uh, you don't have to be afraid if you, you know, make something look wrong or whatever. Um, because it's sketch, that's the whole point of a sketch. Now, what I do like, uh, the first thing I see with a sketch is the sun. That's probably because of the face. I see a, what I think is a teddy bear or a koala bear. Um, then I went more down. Uh, I see more face, a face of sadness and, and probably a cloud with thunder going on. I see a lot of industry going on. Um, radioactive stuff. Uh, I think it's a fish. Um, it's probably your own language. <laughs> um, a fallen down tree. You know, a lot of stuff going on. So here it kind of looks like a paradise thingy. And here it looks like a total uh, disaster industry. Money, oil, bad stuff, destruction. Uh, that's certainly an emotion. Um, so I think the best thing for now to do is just show off the uh, video. Uh, here we have the video, we just uh, increase it and play it. Now, to be real honest, I like what I'm seeing. I am only missing... Uh, now, I, the point is here, I receive the emotion. I receive, like, the world is beautiful, it looks nice, it looks fine, it looks peaceful. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it shows the bad side of the world. Uh, I'm doing, I am going to say, this reminds me of a movie I seen the last time. I'm really bad with names. Um, but it was, I believe, a Japanese um, movie, uh, animated stuff, and it was about uh, ringtail bears and foxes, and they can shapeshift. Uh, so the point is, the you know, they were like the characters who talked and do whatever, and the humans were actually destroying their side of the world. They were living peaceful, and then slowly but surely, uh, you know, the Japanese... Um, uh, you know, start to grow the industry and they slowly start to break down uh, the forest and, you know, it was a bit of a conflict uh, what was going on. It, it describes this perfectly. Now, I do get the feeling with it myself. Um, but what I am missing, and it's a little bit of a shame, I would say, but more a personal thing. I really love to use the, the word a personal thing because then people cannot pick on me saying that's wrong um yeah is um the little bear here i'm missing the little bear i would like to see that bear into your artwork uh maybe you know give him a sad face a little tear with it um what maybe would be nice well it's not nice but maybe a few gravestones like his friends died and you think why because the first Sight is, hey, it's a beautiful world. What's going on? Why is the bear sad? And, oh, what happened here? And then all of a sudden you see what is the cause of something that is coming closer and closer. And that is the destruction of this beautiful planet, this beautiful world. Bad stuff. Typical humans. Um, yeah, so emotion. Sure, it gives me emotion. Uh, by the way, I'd like to see more of your artwork in the future, and welcome, of course. Um, uh, oh, the only thing that is a shame is that I didn't read the Discord first. Um, he says, Hi, everyone. Do the fluid crisis. I'm not going to name it because YouTube will demonetize videos naming it. I decided to learn something new. 
downloaded Blender, found Grant, joined the Discord, and accepted this challenge. So, this is my first project except Grant's tutorials. Many faults, it was hard, but here is the result. I named it the Sand Class. Okay, so um, in case you, I'm just gonna show it because it deserves some attention. Uh, sand glass is because you can see like it's it shows like a pointy shape here, and another pointy shape underneath. So that's probably the project sand glass. All the stuff will lead like this from up to down, like a sand glass. I really like it. Uh, good job, and uh, thanks for joining. Now I'm going to choose a few winners. I'm going to choose four winners uh, based on different points. All right, I've been thinking for a bit. I have chosen four winners based on four different things. I'm going to be honest, it was a little bit difficult this time because there are multiplied people that have won on certain point. Um, for example, for the min minimalism realism, I was kind of fighting between those two. Both are minimalistic and very simplistic, um, but both uh, are doing, have done a very good job. Uh, I think everyone can agree. This is a very good emotion. This is a good emotion. I was struggling so much. I can just not decide if I would uh, let one of these win. So I just scrapped the minimalism simplistic off the list and I added model. Uh, you, you guys both done a nice job. I really just don't want to choose one and let the other one not be a winner. I'd rather just scrap both of you off. You, you both done a very nice job. Uh, I, I, this was one of my favorites of Crave, uh, along with the one of Platyros with the little alien monster. So very good job. And I think everyone always liked to see the default cube. Um, but I think, you know, let's, let's stop making the vault cube always end up in a sad place. From now on, we're going to put the vault cube on a nice little tropical island with his little friends when he gets deleted. Let's give him a good time. Anyhow, I, I, I like this idea here. Very good uh, thinking. Um, but uh, the model winner of the emotion is going to be, and I think it's a very nice model, is Glabby. Because this model, like once again, it just get the madness off this face. And I think this whole pose of this model, the open mouth, it, it really shows off the emotion of madness already. I just love this whole model down here. Uh, I think it's a very good job. Uh, so congratulations winning uh, the model of the emotion competition. Uh, the detailing winner of the emotion, and you're probably going to know that, it's going to be, once again, Platyros. Uh, I think we can all agree that, you know, he definitely won the detail place of the emotion competition. A lot of detailing going on uh, on very less space. So congratulations on the winning the detail of the emotion. Uh, the light slash coloring winner of the emotion is going to be... Um, Wika Wika Woo! So, uh, congratulations on winning. Uh, it's just very colorful. Um, maybe the light is a little bit hard to, you know, for some people to, to see what, where's the light. Um, but that's just where the shadows are. The shadows, where the shadows are shows where the light is coming from. There's a lot of shadows going on on some points uh, underneath the hair, uh, behind the neck. Uh, underneath the lips, so that is where the light coming from. But basically, for me, it's all about the color. There's a lot of color going on. Uh, it, it, I like the idea of techno color depression. It, it's very colorful. Meanwhile, very sad. Um, yeah, I, I, I like that. So congratulations on winning the lightning coloring of the emotion competition. Now the most important one. Or at least, you know, there's only one place and some people already won. But it's the important one. It's the objective emotion itself. And I have chosen based on non-face expression. Uh, there are two of them, but there is only one I think that can win. Well, there is three if you uh, get this house with it. Now the point is, showing emotion, the easiest way to do is body language 
face expressions. Um, uh, this one, those two, uh, this one, maybe. Um, like I said, there are three of them in this case, if you count the house with it. <laughs> Um, that's just one of uh, Michael Yonek, Mitchell Yonek, uh, and um, Getsy. Uh, of course, this house shows a confusing emotion, um, but it doesn't count. So the winner is going to be Getsy. It's very clear. Um, I I tell you this: even without this letter showing what's going on, it will be very clear. But just a ring, drink. And this person standing there, that there's a, you know, a relationship problem. Uh, the ring is laying here, so the other person is gone. Uh, drinking, you know, a lot of bad stuff. I just, just like how the overall this picture is. The color balance, the emotion in this one. So, Getty, uh, congratulations on winning the objective of the emotion competition. Alright, it's a little, little bit a long one. I'm just taking my time this time because the next coming three weeks you won't hear me. And, uh, yes. Uh, anyhow, three weeks. Why? Well, because I am moving over to another house next week. Yes, I could do another weekly um, uh, competition. But, you know, I feel a little bit stressed out. I'm feeling like I'm all over the place. And, you know... I got a lot of stuff to do, and uh, I just don't want to rush things. I don't want to get in the wrong uh, direction of this competition. So that's why I'm just saying, you know, let's just let's just do three weeks. It's not going to be three. Well, it's for this competition. It's going to be three weeks, though. But I'm, you know, I'm just not sure if I move over to 17, move over 18, 19. If I will be online at the 20, I don't know, maybe the internet won't work. I need to wait another week. Uh, that means that if I would do a competition, I cannot be online, and that would be a shame. You guys are wondering what's going on. So that's why the, the deadline will be three weeks. Um, the next weekly challenge, three weekly challenge, is going to be nature so you have three weeks of time to create nature nature is not an easy thing to do uh just take your time you got three weeks uh the deadline will be april 28th which will be down here just before animation month will start which you can work on animation or maybe i'll just do that something like that too uh anyhow i want to thank you guys all for joining i would love to see all of you guys back again and uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Blender. And also questions and requests are welcome anytime.